everybody and welcome back to my channel subscription boxes and more with Michelle and what do I have to share with you today well oh, let's see if you can see I have five of these big boxes where are the big boxes from well I got them right at closing yesterday at Michael's and they are their famous five dollar grab bags or grab boxes now my Ma Michaels uh, is not allowed to leave the five dollar uh, sticker on there um, they have to take those off at the register so unfortunately you can't see that but these are the five dollar grab boxes from Michaels and well let's uh, they do when do they do them they do them usually after the big uh, uh, at the end of each season pretty much um, when things go to 80 90 percent off for a little bit then they um do their their uh five dollar grab bags and boxes this time they only had boxes at my box well i only had boxes left at my michaels and um let's see usually at mine i don't know if this is um kind of michaels wide but mine tend to put them out on a monday so um but they're, um, my, my best advice is to kind of keep an eye out on YouTube. And there's a guy that specifically uh, tells you when Michaels is going to have their grab bags. And he's figured out the system. Uh, but anyways, I don't remember what his name is. I'll try to put it in the description, his you know channel name. But if you just watch um, people that regularly post their, this is how I find out. Is I see people that I watch that regularly post michaels grab boxes and i see theirs go up i don't even watch it i just make a beeline to my michaels so or i start calling um at the end of the season and sometimes i don't depending on your michaels and their uh staff it, they may or may not be uh friendly or honest with you about the grab bag situation so um my best uh, advice is watch youtube uh for you know, towards the end of seasons, start watching for the grab bag um, uh, videos. I would have put this up yesterday, but we had some illness in the house and just we didn't get it done. I, I got it sort of last minute and it would have been late and I said I would just save them for today and hope you all will still be interested in watching to see what I got. Now I did get five boxes. I may or may not open all five in one video. Just depends on how long this video gets. I may do like three and two or something like that. But with that, let's dig into the first box. I'm gonna take this one down and do the one underneath it first. Why? Because ugh, I can't, I'm not tall enough to do it otherwise. Okay. Wow. Now I wanna do that one. That one looks interesting. My Michaels doesn't tape their boxes, so it makes it easy to peek in the top and kind of see the kind of things. I know that these are gonna have a lot of flowers for instance, because I can see them in the top of the box. I do not open them and peek. Um, I don't think it's fair. I don't think it's right. And it also takes away from the experience in my book. If I already know what's in there. Now, I know they have flowers. That's what I know. Because I can see those poking off the top. And I hope it's not all flowers. All right. So we're going to start with a little bouquet here. Uh, some pink roses and pink florals. And this started out at $9.99. Now you know that at Michael's, you generally find things on sale. And, and even if they're not on sale, they generally have like a 40% off coupon or something like that that you can use. You shouldn't be paying full price for things really at Michael's is what I'm saying. But, you know, if you had to pay full price, it would have been $10. All right, so here's a small pick and it would have been $4. And it looks like an orchid. I think that's an orchid. And then here's a weird pick. It's a felt daisy. It's cute. And I just say weird because it's um, felt and not, you know. But I think it's cute. And it would have been $3.99. Another one of those. Oh, I like this one better. I love pink and um, yellow together. Um, then you have these single um, tulips like this on a stem. No leaves. And they're $4.99 a piece, guys. But they feel very real the um it's, it's got kind of a thick velvety feeling and it feels like a real tulip and it looks like a real tulip down inside if you can if i can open it up and show you i mean they are very realistic the more realistic the higher the price 
so there's another one of those in yellow but this one is cheaper I can guarantee you because it's uh, um, oh I don't know the fabric kind not the realistic here's another different uh, bouquet for you also in pink and $9.99 and it's hard to get these things out another pink, uh, lighter pink one so you know this one's going to be $9.99 as well yep so you definitely I mean get your money's worth one of those bouquets you're getting at a half price so you've already paid for your box there's another one of those more realistic you know hyper realistic um, tulips and here is a nice tropical flower there's a weird ribbon or um this was a pick of some sort <laughs> and it's $3.99 and there's nothing there with the wire I don't think we're keep that we'll put that under the box so I can throw it away all right but here's a little tropical flower which was I think it's like a hibiscus it's a dollar ninety nine doesn't say what the flower is so I think it's a hibiscus and I have a cat getting in the flowers come on out out of the box out of the box come on out another one of the felt flowers here's a single thumb this yeah the flowers fell off of that one there's quite a bit of that when you get these boxes you end up with a lot of that here's a pick that is a pair of flip flops so it is $2.99 and here's a little red flowers not sure what these are but they are um, $1.99 here is a tulip with the bulb attached um, okay and it even has roots you see that and that one is $4.99 but it's more it's not um, the real hyper realistic you know at the top but then you got the bulb with the roots so which is realistic they could have done that with that more thick velvety kind you know that felt that really feels like a real tulip and that, that combination would have been cool $1.99 for these basic white flowers uh, whoops I just pulled that one apart I think this is like a geranium I think looking thing I can put it back together because when I pulled it it came off I, I think this is like a geranium you tell me I think so because the leaves look like geranium leaves to me um, and it has no price tag I'd say it's probably at least uh, six or seven dollars at least oh there's another flower off of it there's that here's something it is a little uh, decorative like spring tree for your when you're doing your miniatures and I'd make those little miniature houses so that would be good for that I don't see the price hmm. DIY modern is the company for that which also has these little this also would go with my house building ball art Muriel two piece and it's in a nautical theme the pictures to hang on the wall of your little houses when you're making them Here's a like a um, succulent pick. Four ninety nine. Uh, looks like poppies to me. It is a dollar ninety nine. Here's a little single pink flower. Don't know what kind it is. Four ninety nine. That's little ridiculous in my opinion I guess my opinion's not probably one that matters since I don't price these things right another one of the geraniums again no price tag on this one of the hyper realistic tulips in pink $4.99 a big old pick of some kind of grass kind of you know with the flowers that come I don't know um, $9.99 for that 
cute little peach colored flowers. You know, those are like $1.99. Uh, I'd stand up to get... We have a leaf that you can stick down in something, like maybe with your succulent, because that's <laughs> just in there random. Another flowers. No price. These are like um, dandelion type leaves, but not dandelion type flowers, so I'm not sure what it is. You might know. Here we got another stick. Some loose flowers that'll fall off. We have a cute little pineapple thick. $4.99. And another bit of flowers with some tropical looking leaves but the flowers themselves don't look as tropical $1.99 another one in a different color uh, this would be good for like a corsage kind of thing $4.99 we lost a flower lots of loose bits and pieces here's a loose little um, succulent they want $1.99 for that little guy. We have some tropical leaves. And they're single at $5.99 a piece. Sorry, make sure I'm getting it in the... I may have gotten a couple things out of frame, so I was not looking at the camera. I'm so sorry if I did get them out of frame. All right. We have a couple of different... We have this one. It's kind of almost, you know, this might be something, and I think it looks like a weed, and maybe you'd say, no, Michelle, that's like a, I don't know, something, you know, fancy. Ten bucks. And then this one, that I think's prettier. Ten bucks. Man, we got a lot of florals in this one, guys. Another one of those. That was ten bucks. Here's a big old yellow thing. Big long stem. $12.99. Another of those at ten bucks. And another one. And flowers are falling all over the floor. And my cats like to try to eat them. So I'm gonna have to pick those up in a second. Here's a weird looking flower with some viney looking things sticking out of it. Ten bucks. A single red long stem rose. Six bucks. And this is um is this Forsythia? Is that what that's called? Um the, there's two of these and they're going all over the floor and they're six bucks a piece. I mean my floor is just littered in those. I gotta get these up. The cats will eat them. They have a thing about artificial flowers they want to eat them all right so let's go from flowers to some well maybe some more flowers down in there darn okay um diy minis this is to do your little making your houses and i like to make doll houses so that's like a coat rack kind of deal with a bench or um bench and uh, shoe storage see that there's like a shelf here and a shelf up the top so you can put things uh, that's very cute. You can paint it up how you want. I wish they had the price on these, but they don't. Let's see what else there is. We have a thing of polished gemstones. They look like, ah, yes, amethyst. Do they have holes in them? Yeah, they are uh, by Bead Landing. And it is $24.99 for 5.29 ounces of amethyst beads. Real polished amethyst beads. Get out of there, sir. Out. I need in there. You need out. I need in. You need out. Please. Then we have bead landing $24.99. Semi-precious polished stones. Um, not sure what the stone is, but there they are. They're not really, they don't really look like turquoise chunks, but they're in that color. But there's no veining, really, so I'm not sure what they are. Um, 
also by Bead Landing for $19.99 is a bunch of black round beads and some gold and silver. So all these look to be the same. And then you have these gold and silver ones. So. Go with, well with the stone beads they've got in there. Sorry, I've got a cat in my box. Uh, then we have some quartz crystal. $24.99, also bead landing, so those are going to have holes in them to use with your jewelry making. Excuse me, sir. I really wish you wouldn't get in there while I'm trying to work. Um, I've seen this in other people's videos. Ready to build my empire, it says. This sign, I don't know if you can read it, that's what it says. I'm definitely ready to do that, but, you know. All right, hey, sir. Hey, sir. Little baby newt. You're making this hard. Another one of these that look like, you know, grasses or something. $9.99. You know those flowering grass things? I think they're pretty. I don't know. Um, here is a bou uh, bouquet with some pink and orange and white colors. $12.99. There was a sign, come on in, so you can put, you know, like if you have, you're expecting someone, you can have it to say, come on in, but if you aren't, you can put, please knock. I like that. I am going to use this on my door, because I have a home health aide and a nurse and all of that, and I can put, come on in, to signal that they can come in without knocking and making the chihuahuas bark, but, you know, for like deliveries and things, one day I don't expect people, I can use the please knock. So that's pretty cool. I like that. I like that a lot. And how much was it? Does it have a price? It's by Ashland. And it's 20 bucks, $19.99. And it's nice, as you can see, it's like a pillowy, it's a metal sign, but it's kind of pillowed out, beveled, you know, outwards on both sides. So it makes it sort of a pillowed effect. I like that. And it's very uh, farmhouse with the black and the white. Something kind of heavy. Hey, guys, don't fall down, flowers. Stay. Stay. All right, this is interesting. I saw somebody else get this. It's by Creatology, and it's an inflatable easel. So this would make a good Christmas present for my maybe my grandson. Um, it doesn't come with the art supplies. It just comes with the inflatable easel. You know, this and some art supplies would make a neat gift, yeah? I think so. Set that down here. This is kind of big. Alright, what are these things? Alright, for the house building, they're uh, for like your beds and your couches and chairs. There are It's a pillow set. And it has um, three that are connected. So th these three are connected. So it's one pillow, but looks like three sections. And then there's two that are connected here and one here. So you could use that like a couch, love seat, and chair type deal or something like that. Uh, like this wooden sign. It needs to dust it off a little bit. It says, family makes this house a home. And it's like a shadow box kind of deal. So you could put some flowers, like some of these loose flowers I have, um, somewhere. You know, you could put some of those in that and dress it up. I'm just putting them in the corner just to give you an idea it's $14.99 and this one doesn't have a hanger so it was meant to set on a shelf so neat you could put a hanger on it and hang it very easily I have a cat in the box what a deal for five dollars I got all this and a cat it's a meow meow hey meow meow can you get out please get, I, but I gotta get the stuff out of there I, I need I need in, and you need out. Um, okay, I saw people get um, this stuff, not this particular one, but it's goblies, and it's a thing where you can shoot, I guess, either water or uh, paint. They have little paint pellets that can shoot out of it, um, and so obviously a two-pack. Um, so that's kind of neat. You know, the grandkids will love that to make a mess. 
um, there's also a Creatology easel art set. So this would go with that easel. It, um, we're looking at sponge. Um, you put, you know, dip it in paint and it's, um, um, you know, use it for sponge art. Um, kind of like a um, template kind of, you know what I'm trying to say? Stamp. Stamp. That's what I'm trying to say. But it's a sponge. It's got the paints and a paint brush. So that will go right to my grandson with that inflatable easel. I love that it came with something. Mau Mau, I need you. I need you down, baby. I need you down. And I'm stuffing on a cat toy. All right. Here is some botanical uh, from Ashland. Botanical um, spring. It's like a moss. But it, they've dyed it in purples. Uh, for the miniature... Uh, house building you have a basket with a cloth in it and a wine bottle and a loaf of bread again I build the miniatures so I put one up on my channel I didn't need to put more in this is a uh, lapis uh, beading uh, bead landing semi-precious danglers uh, but they're lapis and um, see the blue and again $25 $24.99 that's awesome because I do like to do some bead uh, making stuff. Uh, this is a broken pick. It was on this stick. Half the hour. But you could still use it. You can put it on a sign so you don't have to have. So if somebody has like a, 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 bar, like a home bar or whatever, you can put half the hour on uh, a sign for them for their wall. We don't have, but uh, I know people that may. So, you know, but this is, they do drink a little bit uh, socially, so they might use that. Because not my cup of tea, but stick. Uh, another thing of those pillows, but instead of white, they are in light pink. Again, guys, this is going to be great for my miniature building. I am stoked for this. And this is only one box. Oh, another miniatures. It's little tiny baby hangers. So you can, you know, have a closet and you can have little hangers hanging in there. And then there is a sign that I was trying to get out when I found that little miniature. And there's a bunch of loose flower bits in there, but we won't get those out. I'm not looking at it. You're looking at it. It says that we got, oh, flour, maple syrup, sugar, milk and cream, and butter. Uh, farmhouse, all day. Guys, this is going right in my kitchen, maybe even on my pantry door, which already says pantry in a farmhouse in a sign. But I may put this on there. Why? Because it matches with my decor. Like it, love it, and the cat is trying to shove everything off the table. All right, I will be right back with you with another box. And I do think this is going to have to be a two-part video because, guys, there's going to be a lot, unless you want a super long video. I know that I think you guys, you know, appreciate the more mid-length to short type videos. Oh, get that back in And we're back with box two, and look who's here to help, Miss Mau Mau. She thinks that, you know, she's, she's the star of the show. Oh, see, she's telling me about it. She's telling me about it, guys. Oh, she's telling me. Oh, she's killing me. Help! Help! She's killing me. She barely touches me with her. She doesn't even put her claws out. And she barely touches me with her teeth. All right. I saw me. I know that I saw me. You've got to move. i got to unbox. Don't knock the box down. Anyways, let's unbox box number two. And then this is part one, and we will have a part two video. And I'll probably, I may put them both up today so that you can see in case you want to see if your Michael still has it. But that way you don't have to watch it all at once if you don't want to. If it's not up today, it'll probably be up tomorrow. Oh, goodness. Guys, it's not florals on top. That's exciting. There's florals. I can see them, but they're not on top. All right. So the first thing is one of those goblies, and this is a paint shield. So this you hold, you know, to shield yourself when a person is uh, trying to spray you and hit you with the paintballs. But... It also apparently has a hidden squirter thing so you can turn it so you can shield yourself with this side or you can turn it like this way and shoot 
water or the paint blobbies at them. So that goes with uh, the two guns that came in the other box. So now my three grandchildren here can all three have one to play with. I'll probably give those to them so they can, you know, still warm enough outside they could get some use out of them. Come winter time, see, I thought I could save them for Christmas, but that'd be kind of dumb because they can't go outside and squirt each other in the winter. Well, they could, but I don't think their parents would be very happy if they did. Ah, uh, this one is a Createology create uh, craft kit, and it makes a shark. Like, you can use it for a, um, for a Christmas tree decoration or to hang from your mirror of your car or just to, you know, hang on your bag, whatever. And it says Jawsome and makes a shark. And I'm keeping that one for me because my oldest, my oldest, my youngest son is into sharks. Um, gosh, guys, he's going to be 26 in a few days. What? How, how can that be? But. <laughs> He's always been, since he was a little tiny boy, he's been way into sharks. And that makes me think of him, and he lives clear in Ohio, so that one is for me. All right, and here's another Createology craft kit. It says crown kit, but what it seems to make is possibly like a bookmark that has a rocket and stars. I think it may be like a bookmark, but certainly you could use it for a... No, guys, I can see through the packaging, and it, I think it's to make a bracelet because it's curved here. It looks like they take the ribbons on the two ends. Can you see how it has ribbons sticking out both ends? And they tie it around the wrist. However, you could definitely probably leave it flat and use it as a bookmark, which is more up my grandkids alley because they love to read. They get it honest. All right, so the next crea Createology craft kit is one of those, um, what are they called? I can't think of the name of the beads, but here they are. You um, you put them on the thing in a pattern, and they give you the pattern here. It makes a unicorn, uh, as you can see, if, you, if I move my fingers out of your way. And you use an iron and melt them together. And I can't think what, what the beads are called. Um, but anyways, I think it only has the one... Um, design for this kit. I think it just makes the one unicorn. But my grandkids love to use these and um so they'll have fun with that. Oh and I know no one I know no one who knows how to knit but I have oh those kits are three $3.99 a piece by the way. Uh but these are 12 uh 0.75 millimeter or size 17 in US knitting needles by Susan Bats or Bates and I don't know the price, but I know no one who knows how to knit. So I pro probably will donate. So I will probably donate these. And that's the stuff that needs edited out because I can't speak properly. All right, another kit of the bracelet or slash bookmark and I wonder how many it makes does it say on here contains one felt piece for okay so it just only makes one so maybe I can have one for each well oh my goodness somebody can make a it's a sewing craft kit and uh, one of my grandchildren loves to sew and you can make a um, spaceman an astronaut out of my seven grandkids they all like to do crafty stuff so in us it was 4.99 for this one and i have one that wants to work for nasa might send that just you know because of that not because she's too old for the craft kit itself but she may think it's cute because she wants to work for nasa she doesn't want to be an astronaut though she doesn't want to go to the moon she wants to help other people do that she wants to be an uh, astronomer there's another set of those pillows in the pink um, oh, there's another, looks like another thing that goes with the, um, those paint glo uh, goblies. This is a paintball slinger. So you use it to fling the paintballs at your opponent. I hope those paintballs are washable because can you imagine the mess that's going to make? But again, you know, there's enough of those for them to even have a friend over to play. 
All right, now we're going back into some florals, guys. Uh, this one has this part that sort of, I don't know if it's supposed to dangle or if it wilted and died. <laughs> uh, but anyways, here's a nice little uh, bouquet of flowers. I mean, so think, if you, if you are doing a wedding on a budget, you could probably find one of these little um, bouquets that would match your wedding colors. And you could just hold it and walk down the aisle for 10 bucks, And less than that, because they're usually on sale. And at the very least, you can get a 10, uh, 40 percent off or something coupon. I, I don't don't quote me on that. I it seems to me I remember a 40 percent off that you can get off like off of a regularly priced item. But that might be that could be like Joann's or Hobby Lobby. But anyways, the point is, Michael's always has a sale too. And see, they have them in different colors. There you had bright pinks. Here you have one that is um, got a little more white and orange, and still has some pink. So, I mean, you could have them for you, your bridesmaids, and everything, and, you know, not have $100 in your flowers, um, counting your center, centerpieces if you're careful. See? Another one. Or just buy a grab box, and you might get all the flowers you need for your next occasion. Here's some kind of flowers. Here's two of them. The same, and they were $1.99. So, you know, put those in in the middle to take up space. I guess those are supposed to be dangly. I don't know what it is, but I think it looks better if you push it into the middle and help it stand up. I think it looks better that way. But if you wanted a dangle for your, you know, bouquet. But anyways, so, I, like I said, I like it better shoved in the middle if it stands up. Another one for 10 bucks. Um, here we have some kind of a garland. I can get it out. It's tangled. It's tangled. Here it is. It's a long, long garland. I don't know how long it'll say on here. I'm sure on this. It was $34.99, guys. By Ashland. It is Tropical Paradise. And it's six feet long. And as you can see, it's got the tropical leaves. But it's also got these orange kind of flowers. I don't know. if There's some kind of tropical plant. And it's six feet of this. So... If you're going to have some kind of a tropical party or during the summer, if you just like a tropical vibe or all year for that matter, because, you know, what's better in the winter than to, to look like summer on the inside of your house um, to, you know, jazz up your mood. But anyways, um, looks like there could be two of those wrapped up in here. And if so, well, they're 35 of these. Uh, this is a really pretty one. I think it's supposed to be... Uh, a garland see that has sort of that grapevine wreath uh, as the long uh, garland part but then it's got like magnolias on it it's a really long one I bet you that one's expensive you can make a nice swag or something out of it um, $39.99 guys for that um, I like it I think it's pretty I think it would go with the farmhouse at least you know I think so maybe maybe not you tell me what you think but when you straighten it now, see, and it's how many feet it is, six feet long, too. So that other one was two stuck together because it was really long. So the tropical one had to be two because it has two tags. Um, then we have a wreath, a summer wreath with, it has strawberries and flowers. Can you see the, see it's got strawberries on it. And all kinds of summery flowers on it. Um, that's kind of pretty. You can put like a sign across here, like welcome or whatever, jazz it up yourself with a ribbon. Uh, make it your own. That's nice. And it's on a more of the grapevine type wreath. So that's cool. Um, does it have a tag? Yes, it does. Ashland $69.99. Again, don't, don't pay the full price. That's silly. All right, some more goodies down in here. We have a whole thing of Creatology felt, five dollars worth of glue felt. I don't know how many pictures or pictures, how many pieces? Fifteen, fifteen pieces of glue felt. So you can make some kind of cross out of that. Ah, I'm getting stuff all over me. Um, 
We have another one of those things that flings the paint balls. So the kids can, the grandkids can have friends over and get real messy. Uh-oh, and here's one that shoots the paint balls. Yes, I see them having a good fun time with all this. And two of them have an October birthday. So I may put this as an <coughs> early birthday so they can actually play with it now while it's still warm, warm enough. <coughs> One's birthday is October 13th. The other one's October 31st. And if I give it to them as a joint present now and then give them something small on their birthday, they can get some use out of it. And I can get some brownie points, right? <coughs> Oh my goodness. All right, so we have a craft kit here that makes a unicorn head. Ball decor. It gives you sort of a, um, like a deer head vibe, but it's a unicorn, but also makes you think of like a, um, a head of a, um, oh, you hit it, pinata almost, because it's that kind of, I don't know, maybe it's just me, but it's got, you know, it, up on that round thing and put it on the wall sticking out so it's sort of like a deer head too so they don't care they'll they'll make it it'll be fun for them and then the last thing in this box is a sign uh, you tell me what's whoa whoa bugatti you okay sir you tell me what's going on in this picture is is it like old-fashioned football or is it soldiers? What is this? Well, they have one like football helmets, so that that tells me there it's like oh, really old-fashioned football. Because they got a couple of them holding those helmets, like this guy here. So, it, good in a man cave or something like that, maybe. Not really my aesthetic. But it's by Ashland and it's $24.99. So definitely more than my $5 worth any way you slice it. All right, that is the end of part one. So uh, guys, if you don't mind, why don't you uh, let me know what you think in the comments. Also, give me that big old thumbs up because you know that would really help my channel. And please subscribe to my channel. And please share my video with others so that maybe they might subscribe as well. And thank you for watching and for listening to me babble and don't forget i'll be back with a part two with three more boxes in just a minute bye guys